The Mariana Trench, Earth's deepest trench, harbors some of the most perplexing and eerie mysteries known to humanity. Recently, scientists exploring its dark depths made a deeply unsettling discovery, further fueling our relentless pursuit of knowledge and understanding. What exactly did these scientists uncover, and how will this revelation reshape our comprehension of the world? Join us as we embark on a journey deep into the Mariana Trench to unveil the disturbing find made by scientists. The Mariana Trench, the deepest hole in the earth. An oceanic trench is a very long, very narrow fissure that is tucked away in the lowest point of the ocean. One well-known example of such an oceanic trench is the Mariana Trench. Significant sections of the Earth's surface converge and press against one another to create this natural wonder, which moves gradually over a period ranging from a few centimeters to more than 10 centimeters annually. These oceanic holes, which descend almost 2 to 2.5 miles below the adjacent ocean floor, are the result of one section of the Earth's surface sliding beneath another. There are several deep tunnels in the globe, but the Mariana Trench is the longest and deepest. It stretches over 1,500 miles in a beautiful arc. Its startling depth, as well as its length, are what make it interesting. Because it is so impossible to dive to such depths in the ocean, the Mariana Trench is a challenging place for humans to explore. Its depth has been determined to be at least 36,700 feet using sound waves that are carried through the sea. The United States is in charge of overseeing its protection because of its proximity to Guam and other U.S. connected islands. President Bush, then U.S. President, declared it a specially protected area in 2009. It is now known as the Mariana Trench Marine National Monument and covers around 195,000 square miles of the ocean floor and adjacent waterways. Laws are also in place to protect it. The subduction zone, a unique site where massive sections of the ocean floor crash, is where the Mariana Trench got its start. Imagine two thick, solid earth crusts that resemble enormous rocky plates. Sandwich-like compression occurs when one plate is pushed under the other, and this interaction results in the formation of a deep trench. The Mariana Trench is created when the crust of the Pacific Ocean subducts beneath the crust of the Philippines. At roughly 180 million years old, the Pacific crust dips and flexes into the Earth's mantle, which is a more profound layer. The Philippine crust, in comparison, is smaller and somewhat younger. The thick and frigid crust melts away at these subduction zones as it falls into the Earth's deeper depths. Because of the flatness of our planet, the Mariana Trench is not quite the closest location to the Earth's center, despite its amazing depth. The area closest to the North Pole is marginally closer to the Earth's center than its lowest point. Organisms at the bottom of the trench face extreme pressure, equivalent to the force of 50 massive jumbo aircraft piled on top of an individual over a thousand times the weight they would experience at the surface. Due to the immense pressure, exploring this profound marine region comes with a lot of serious hurdles. The way of life in the Mariana Trench is very different from what we experience on shore. It is always dark, and the constant pressure of the water makes it difficult to survive. In this isolated area, there is a lack of nutrients because it is rare for leaves, coconuts, and trees to reach the ocean floor. Even plankton has to travel hundreds of feet to reach the lowest spot. Despite these difficulties, certain microscopic organisms survive by using special energy sources like sulfur or methane, while others live by eating smaller marine animals. These microscopic organisms are an essential component of the base of the food chain, providing other organisms with a necessary supply of nutrition. During its breakthrough multi-year worldwide mission in the year 1917, the HMS Challenger made the first discovery of the existence of the Mariana Trench. Using specialized equipment, the crew measured the depth of the trench and made important discoveries throughout their exploratory trips, adding over 4,700 new species to the body of knowledge about oceans. A brave mission into the Mariana Trench will reveal sounds so strange and fearful that it puzzled scientists. The strange and faint music of the Mariana Trench. In 2015, a gripping tale began to unfold beneath the surface of the water in the impenetrable darkness of the Mariana Trench's lowest reaches as a team of explorers made their way there. This was a domain beyond the reach of sunshine, concealed by the oppressive pressure of the surrounding waters. Leading this daring trip into this mysterious depth were Captain James Turner, 
a seasoned submariner with years of experience navigating dangerous depths, and Sarah Mitchell, a trailblazing marine scientist renowned for her breakthrough discoveries. When their exploration vessels, appropriately dubbed Abyss Seeker, sank into the trench, the surrounding area changed into a spooky and dreamlike setting. The brave explorers were treated to an almost surreal experience, as the inky black water seemed to absorb all light, and the pressure outside the submersible reached astounding and fearsome levels. Excited and apprehensive at the same time, Mitchell looked through the thick glass viewport inside the small submersible cockpit. Captain Turner maneuvered the ship down the bottom of the trench with such skill that it revealed a lonely place that very few people had ever ventured to. It was an area shrouded in profound mystery, and when strange, eerie noises started to echo through the water like ghostly whispers in the depths, the tension increased. Curiosity drove Mitchell, as the scientist was moved to meticulously document these unexplained sounds every minute. The explorer's senses were captivated by the odd tune of clicks, whistles, and hums, which intensified the tension inside the submersible. As the Abyss Seeker descended more, the mystery wrapped them in an alluring fashion, and a foreboding vibe lingered over the underwater environment like an elusive fog. Weeks passed, and the odd noises developed into a menacing melody that Mitchell painstakingly recorded, capturing every variation in rhythm and pitch. Then, at a depth never before reached, the trench started to brilliantly reveal its secrets. With stunning brightness, the submersible's bright lights broke through the gloom to reveal a large field of enormous bioluminescent organisms on the trench floor. These enormous creatures, which resembled legendary gigantic squids, gave off an ethereal glow that cast an exotic blue-green light over the trench, illuminating it with captivating colors. The formerly terrifying chasm was transformed into a living work of art by these creatures' exquisite movements and flowing tentacles. Mitchell was suddenly hit by the thought that these gorgeous creatures relied heavily on those strange noises she had been recording for communication. They created an array of signals and echoes that revealed a language of the deep that had hitherto been incomprehensible to humans. As Mitchell and Captain Turner watched the creatures perform a captivating dance that appeared to transcend the watery realm, the tension reached dizzying heights. Mitchell found herself thinking about their amazing discovery as the Abyss Seeker rose closer to the surface. They had entered a strange world inhabited by species of unfathomable beauty and complexity, as well as a world of wonder and mystery, thanks to the strange sounds emanating from the Mariana Trench. Scientists from all around the world committed themselves to researching these deep sea dwellers in the years that followed, hoping to understand their complex language and uncover the innumerable mysteries that lay beneath the trench. The thrilling journey ushered in a new period of discovery and insight, permanently altering the scientific community. It served as a reminder that secrets and captivating tales, one more captivating than the other, still lie in wait in even the most isolated and hostile regions of our world. In their exploration of the amazing world of the Mariana Trench, scientists also discovered a truly amazing creature known as the Dumbo Octopus. The Dumbo Octopus and its unusual fins. The Dumbo Octopus is an intriguing and dangerous creature that lives in the vast expanses of the Mariana Trench, where the ocean's depths descend into a chasm of mystery. It is a miracle of the deep water, with fins that resemble the well-known ears of the cute cartoon elephant, where it got its name. The Dumbo Octopus exudes an ethereal charm because of these fins that delicately stretch from the top of its head. This deep-sea resident has descended to depths of three to 4,000 meters, developing into a true expert at surviving in the most hostile conditions. The Dumbo octopus has not been discouraged by the pitch-black depths of the trench, where light is scarce, and has instead shaped its lifestyle. Underwater, the Dumbo octopus performs a captivating ballet. This creature takes a more poetic approach than its counterparts, who rely on jet push. With almost artistic elegance, it navigates the intricacies of the deep zone thanks to its ear-like fins, which resemble the delicate movements of a ballet dancer. When faced with a shortage of food, the Dumbo octopus becomes a full-fledged predator specializing in eating small crustaceans, worms, and other creatures from the deep sea 
that come in its path. It is now genuinely a culinary master of the deep ocean. The Dumbo octopuses are the deepest dwelling group of octopuses known to science, inhabiting the deep open ocean to a minimum depth of 13,100 feet and potentially much lower. It takes special adaptations to survive at these depths including the capacity to endure extremely cold water and total darkness. Due to their extreme rarity and the size of the deep sea, Dumbo octopuses have evolved unique habits that enhance their chances of successfully reproducing whenever they meet a mate. It appears that females can keep sperm for extended periods following mating with a male, and they consistently carry eggs during different stages of development. The Dumbo octopus is one of nature's magnificent wonders, demonstrating the extraordinary flexibility and resilience of life in the face of hardship. This fascinating organism reveals not just survival skills, but also a song of elegance and cunning in the most difficult circumstances known to marine life as they delve further into the mysteries of the Mariana Trench. But not only magnificent creatures can be found in the world that is Mariana Trench, even viruses, small and hard to spot, make up its citizenship. The dangerous Mariana Trench virus, 8.9 kilometers below sea level in the Mariana Trench, which is part of the Western Pacific Ocean, researchers have unearthed an amazing discovery, a whole new type of virus. This new virus was found in sediments and is thought to be a member of the recently discovered Cyphoviruses family, which only attacks bacteria and leaves people unaffected. This is not the first discovery of its sort. In the same trench, another virus was found 8,636 kilometers down. The mysterious nature of these viruses, scientifically known as bacteriophages, remains largely unexplained despite several investigations. This newly discovered bacteriophage has been given the name VB underscore HMY underscore H4907 by worldwide experts, who detailed it in a recent report in Microbiology Spectrum. Claimed to be the deepest known phage isolated to date, it reveals a previously undiscovered virus family living in the ocean. The Hadal Zone, the lowest part of the ocean, around 6 to 11 kilometers below sea level, is where this amazing virus was found. As the deepest known home for life on Earth, the research team highlighted that the trench is also the planet's least explored and most mysterious environment. The study team, which consists of marine virologists, stated that they are primarily interested in learning more about the composition, variety, patterns of distribution, regulatory mechanisms, and ecological roles of viruses in a range of marine environments, such as the deep sea and the polar regions. It was discovered that a bacterial species belonging to the Halomonas family, which is renowned for its adaptation to deep Hadal environments, was infected by the virus vbh h 4907 These bacteria can degrade petroleum hydrocarbons, flourish under alkaline pH and high salt concentrations, and show a strong resistance to contamination. The phage's genome revealed several intriguing characteristics, such as an icosahedron head with an average diameter of 65 nanometers and a lengthy, non-contractible tail that is 183 nanometers longer than the head. According to researchers, the deep sea virus is not dangerous to people, but it is an essential regulator of global ecology. Our knowledge of Hadal phages has increased as a result of the study, and further investigation into genetic diversity and genetic characteristics intends to lay the theoretical groundwork for a deeper examination. The research team, under the direction of co-authors Yantao Liang, Yue Su, and Min Wang, stated that they plan to look into the molecular mechanisms regulating interactions between deep-sea viruses and their hosts in further studies. While the Mariana Trench is deep and often gives off a sense of bottomlessness, some parts of it are even more deep, mysterious, and awe-inspiring, like the Challenger Deep. The Challenger Deep, a trench inside a trench. Under the vast Pacific Ocean, the Challenger Deep is a mysterious chasm in the Mariana Trench that is difficult to understand. It is a massive tunnel that plunges into the oceanic depths, setting a record as the deepest place on Earth. This is not simply a dip, but a drop into a world that has captivated scientists and explorers for decades with its seductive and dangerous combination. On January 23, 1960, a memorable dive marked the start of the expedition into the Challenger Deep on the Bathyscaphe Trieste 
Adventurers Don Walsh and Jacques Picard bravely ventured into the unknown. Their ship was subject to external pressure that was comparable to the weight of 50 large jets compressed into the size of a postage stamp. The temperature plunged to almost freezing as they dove into the cold depths, and their onboard equipment's dim glow was their sole source of light. They were always at risk of a disastrous failure, but they persisted nonetheless, driven by bravery and an unquenchable curiosity. In so doing, they forever etched their names in the annals of deep sea research. In 2012, the Challenger Deep Story took on a new phase. James Cameron, an explorer and filmmaker renowned for his cinematic achievements, set out on a historic mission. He descended to about 35,000 feet in the Challenger Deep, the lowest point in the ocean aboard the submersible Deep Sea Challenger, making history as the first human to do it in more than 50 years. This was no typical dive. Rather, it was a descent into an environment of extreme cold and constant pressure. More than just guts was required to complete this voyage. Specific gear and a deep sense of exploration were prerequisites. However, Cameron's expedition was more than just an effort at a thrilling adventure. It was a scientific investigation that deepened our knowledge of marine life. Challenger Deep is still a dangerous haven reserved for those with the technological know-how and experience to face its depths. It is not a location for the timid. The darkness envelops everything like a shroud. The cold bites, and the pressures are crushing. Its mysteries have only been unlocked by those possessing an unwavering spirit. Scientists and explorers are still fascinated by Challenger Deep, despite its difficult and distant location. It is more than just a spot on a map. It is a doorway to a world of extremes and mysteries, evidence of the enormous unexplored regions that lie beneath the surface of the ocean. Only the most courageous have descended into the depths of this environment, where nature has created an atmosphere of unthinkable pressure, bitter cold, and extreme darkness, risking everything to discover the secrets that lay there. The Mariana Trench is full of mysterious, otherworldly creatures and fascinating places. But if you think we have explored all of it, think again. Next, we look at two of Mariana Tranche's truly fascinating and terrifying creatures the fearsome goblin sharks and the barrelay fish. Dwelling in the Mariana Trench's depths, the goblin shark is an amazing and terrifying marine animal. Its jaw, which can quickly extend to seize prey, is one of its most intriguing qualities. It moves like a sly predator, waiting quietly in the shadows for naive fish to pass by. It snaps to attention, snapping its jaws like a missile and quickly snatching up its food. The goblin shark has around 35 to 53 long, narrow, highly grooved teeth in the upper jaw and 31 to 62 in the lower jaw. On either side of both jaws, they have three rows of front teeth. The flattened and smaller rear teeth are prepared for crushing. Some goblin sharks have spaces between their upper lateral teeth. Its unusual pinkish-gray skin, which is practically translucent and provides a peek into its internal workings, adds to its unsettling image. This species is one of the most frightening and alluring residents of the Mariana Trench because of its hideous look and crafty hunting techniques, which give it the impression of a character from a spine-tingling story. The Barillet fish is a strange sea creature that defies preconceived notions about oceanic life. It is sometimes referred to as the spook fish because of its unusual eyes. Its transparent head, which resembles a clear cap, gives its skeleton a peculiar and fascinating feature. This translucent feature has a practical purpose. It protects the fish's unique upward-pointing eyeballs, which can pick up even the smallest amounts of light in the deep ocean. The fish's ability to move its eyes inside its transparent skull and look straight ahead while snagging prey is what makes it so fascinating. This adjustment is extremely useful in the Barillet fish's dark, high-pressure habitats. This is one amazing species that truly demonstrates how life can adapt and survive in harsh environments. Its translucent head displays its brain, and its upward-facing eyes are always on the lookout. While scientists expected to find terrifying marine life, what they did not dream of finding in the Mariana Trench was garbage. They were greeted with the unsettling scene of human waste and plastic bags all over the Mariana Trench floor. This discovery cast this deep-sea sanctuary in a sad light. The trench was supposed to be a clean, isolated area of Earth, like the last frontier, but it has become a landfill, 
for human trash. The discovery of trash exposes serious issues and emphasizes how little we have been taking care of the environment. The effects of human activity are visible, even in the most isolated and unreachable places on Earth, like the Mariana Trench, where plastic pollution has left its mark. The depressing truth is that human footprints are left everywhere we go, even in regions that don't seem to be reachable. As explorers journey further down the Mariana Trench, they discover even more fascinating, otherworldly, and seemingly supernatural creatures like the long-nosed chimera. The strange long-nosed chimera. Daring scientists set out on excursions full of excitement to solve the secrets of unexplored regions in the depths of the Mariana Trench, a hidden world that has silently lived for an astounding 400 million years. Every trip down into the deep trench has the potential to reveal previously unknown species, odd habits and geological characteristics, transforming scientific explorations into a potentially terrifying and magnificent theater of discoveries. In a recent investigation, the long-nosed Chimera, scientifically known as Hariata Ralagana, has surfaced from the shadows as a creature with strange fascination and otherworldly features. Scientists are in a state of confusion and intense desire as they attempt to understand this mysterious deep-sea resident. The eerie-looking long-nosed Chimera has an elongated snout that resembles a swordfish and is stretched out in front of it. With its unique sensing organs, this appendage becomes an extremely useful instrument for the survival of the species. It evokes feelings of both fear and awe with its snout and razor-sharp teeth-lined mouth, giving the impression of a real sea predator. Its remarkable adaptation to the harsh, deep environment, where sunshine is a distant memory and pressure reaches extreme, bone-crushing levels, is what distinguishes this bizarre organism. The long-nosed chimera not only survives, but flourishes in this other world. Its skin becomes translucent and ghostly, barely masking the complex web of blood veins beneath. The outcome is a beast that seems to have been taken straight out of a dark fantasy, one that is eerily beautiful. The long-nosed chimera's ability to adapt to the cold, oxygen-starved waters of the trench enables it to efficiently take in oxygen, demonstrating its incredible fortitude in the face of hardship. The long-nosed chimera has characteristics that add to its mystery, despite its terrifying appearance. It uses a complex network of electroreceptors, a kind of extrasensory perception, to navigate the pitch-black Mariana Trench and identify the weak electrical impulses that its prey emits. This unsettling ability enables the creature to hunt precisely in an environment where conventional senses are ineffective. Furthermore, this creature's sluggish development and reproduction add to its unearthly aura. However, this creature's fascinating evolutionary history is just as interesting as its terrifying characteristics. The long-nosed chimera, a living fossil that challenges our notions of time and evolution, is a member of an ancient lineage that dates back millions of years. They reach adulthood late in life and give birth to very few children over their nearly century-long lifespan. These ancient inhabitants are made even more vulnerable by their unusual life history, which emphasizes how urgent it is to save them. Because of its distant habitat, studying the long-nosed chimera scientifically has proven to be an enormous job. Innovative tools like remotely operated vehicles and submersibles have been used by researchers to get sporadic glances at these animals in their native habitat. Through these efforts, a wealth of information on their behavior, ecology, and delicate role within the complex ecosystem of the Mariana Trench has been revealed. The existence of long-nosed chimeras in the Mariana Trench is evidence of life's continued adaptability to even the harshest conditions on Earth. Its frightening and alluring characteristics, from its eerie appearance to its extraordinary hunting prowess, keep scientists enthralled and perplexed, expanding our comprehension of the strange world beneath the seas. As we peel back the layers of mystery surrounding this ancient, deep-sea resident, we encounter incredible treasures and terrifying things concealed in the oceans of our world. This encounter emphasizes how urgent it is to safeguard these delicate ecosystems 
from the possibly disastrous effects of human activities to preserve the survival of these fascinating and cunning creatures in their mysterious underwater home. Next, we look at the awe-inspiring underwater volcanoes and black smokers found in the Mariana Trench, a true marvel. The underwater volcanoes and black smokers of Mariana Trench. Discovering the undersea volcanoes concealed in the Mariana Trench leads to an enthralling realm of natural marvels. To fully understand these phenomena existence and behavior, one must delve into the complex geological aspects of this unique area. The Mariana Trench, which records the meeting of the Pacific Plate with the smaller Mariana Plate, is evidence of the tectonic plates of Earth's continuous movement. The formation of underwater volcanoes takes place at this juncture. The Pacific Plate penetrates the Earth's mantle and experiences extreme heat and pressure as it moves beneath the Mariana Plate. Here beneath the surface, rocks melt to form magma, a molten mixture that is luminous. The less thick lava, driven by its buoyancy and heat, takes advantage of the opportunity to rise, thereby initiating the fascinating underwater volcanic show beneath the ocean surface. Black smokers are distinctive hydrothermal vents created by eruptions in the Mariana Trench, in contrast to the well-known tall volcanoes. These vents release superheated water that is rich in minerals into the ocean's depths rather than lava. Black smokers, as its name suggests, let forth towering plumes that resemble dark smoke chimneys rising from abysses, which lends an additional degree of mystery to their peculiar geological features. The hot lava in the trench causes a chemical reaction despite the icy cold waters there. The water becomes rich in minerals as a result of the surrounding rock's minerals dissolving in the extreme heat of the lava. The dissolved minerals are carried by the superheated water as it surges upward, simulating an underwater alchemical process. Something amazing happens when this searing mixture enters the freezing ocean from the chimney of the black smoker. Minerals that have been dissolved precipitate and solidify as a result of the water cooling quickly. As a result, there are imposing chimneys that rise to amazing heights in the shadowy abyss. These black smokers, are important to the chemistry and biology of the ocean, making them more than just interesting geological objects. Deep-sea creatures depend on the chemicals that these vents release, which include minerals and vital nutrition. Among the materials released is iron, a vital nutrient for microscopic organisms that serve as the base of the ocean food chain. Hot spots of biological activity are produced by black smokers, where particular groups of organisms adapt to survive in this harsh environment. It is a moving reminder that life can thrive even in the most difficult and unlikely places on Earth. Despite the rarity and strangeness of the creatures we have seen in the Mariana Trench, there still exist truly unbelievable residents of this mystical place, like the sea devil anglerfish. The strange and elusive sea devil anglerfish. A surprising and unsettling discovery was made by a deep-sea probe in the enigmatic Mariana Trench, an elusive inhabitant known as the Sea Devil Anglerfish. Scientists and travelers alike have been fascinated by this peculiar organism and its fascinating adaptations. To begin with, the Sea Devil Anglerfish was first discovered in the early 19th century, when the Mariana Trench was still hidden beneath the vast Pacific Ocean. Explorers were drawn to this uncharted territory, and it wasn't until the Challenger Expedition in 1921 that the trench's whole extent and its mysteries, including Challenger Deep, its lowest point, were made public. Today, one of the most mysterious residents of the trench is the Sea Devil Anglerfish, or Melanocytus johnsoni, as it is officially known. Even though it is only 20 centimeters long, this animal has characteristics that enable it to be a dangerous predator in the Mariana Trench's deep depths. Modern deep-sea probes that delved into the trench's depths have brought the sea devil anglerfish to light, a significant milestone in scientific research. This discovery has drawn interest from scientists all around the world and marks a critical turning point in our knowledge of deep-sea life. The sea devil anglerfish has an even more peculiar characteristic than its peculiar appearance, which contradicts stereotypes of sea life, its bioluminescent lure. 
This bright bait has two purposes. It is dangling over its scary lips as a menacing beacon alerting potential victims to this dangerous predator, and it draws unwary targets into the pitch-black trench where sunlight never shines. Not only is the sea devil anglerfish unique in terms of looks, but it also exhibits unique mating behavior. In the harsh Mariana Trench habitat, where securing a partner is an arduous undertaking, the male anglerfish has developed an unusual tactic. It practically merges with the larger female, becoming a lifelong bond with her. This guarantees the survival of their species by guaranteeing that the male is always close by when it is time for reproduction. A three, five-inch long black sea devil anglerfish was discovered by a team utilizing a remotely operated vehicle, ROV, at a depth of roughly 1,900 feet. After accomplishing the remarkable accomplishment of bringing her alive to the surface, the scientists have been keeping an eye on the fish ever since. Scientists' additional investigations have shown the sea devil anglerfish's exceptional predatory abilities in the hostile Mariana Trench environment. This species has honed its ambush technique in an environment where food is scarce. Oblivious prey is drawn in by its bright bait, and the anglerfish strikes with lightning speed, grabbing its food in a split second. It serves as evidence of the harsh reality of surviving in the deep ocean, where challenges from undersea volcanoes compound daily struggles. If you want to see more videos like this, do not forget to subscribe, like, and share. Thanks for watching.